My name is Maria Hunt, a.k.a. The Bubbly Girl. I'm the author of the new book, The Bubbly Bar, Champagne and Sparkling Wine Cocktails for Every Occasion, which is available on Amazon.com right now. As I was working on the book, a lot of people confessed to me that they were actually a little scared to open a bottle of champagne or sparkling wine by themselves. So I wanted to show you a couple tips to make sure that you can do it safely. The first thing that you want to do is have your bottle chilled enough time. That means about an hour in the refrigerator or about 30 minutes in an ice and water bath. The reason you want to do this is that so the cork doesn't fly off unexpectedly. Did you know there's actually the same amount of pressure behind a cork that comes behind a bullet? So you really don't want to have this come off when you don't expect it because it could injure someone. The next thing you want to do is to make sure you have a cloth, napkin, or a dish towel ready. So first, you undo the foil covering that's over the cork, put that away. Then you go to the wire cage, there's a little key on it, and you untwist that cork, that cage. This is when your napkin comes in. You put your napkin over the cork, you hold it firmly in place, and then you twist your bottle and ease the cork out of the bottle. And when it comes off, you don't want to allow a crazy pop. You want it to make kind of a soft, satisfied side. So then the only thing to do after that is to pour. And then enjoy. So for more information on champagne and sparkling wine cocktails, please visit my website, www.thebubblygirl.com. And remember, it's always better with bubbly.